very good evening welcome all the devotees for today's session on srimad bhagavatam we'll start with uh, the prayers om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya narayanam namaskrityam naram chaiva narottamam devim saraswatim vyasam तथो जय मुदीरय नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर भवती नैष्टिकी टुडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द नेक्स्ट टू श्लोका द श्लोका नंबर 11 एंड 12 व्हिच आर वेरी वेरी गुड एंड इंपॉर्टेंट श्लोकास सो काइंडली ट्राई टू रिपीट आफ्टर मी वदंती वदंती ब्रह्मैति परमात्मैति ब्रह्मैति परमात्मैति भगवान इति शब्दते भगवान मुनय ज्ञान वैराग्य युक्तया मुनय ज्ञान वैराग्य युक्तया पश्य आत्मनि च आत्मा पश्य आत्मनि च आत्मा हरे कृष्णा वन मिनिट वदंती तत्व विदी रिपीट एवरी वन वदी तत्व तत्व विद परमात्मा भगवान इति शब्दते ब्रह्मा इति परमात्मा इति भगवान इति शब्द ये तत्श्रद्धान मुनय तत्श्रद्धान मुनय ज्ञान वैराग्य युक्तया पश्य आत्मनि च आत्मा पश्य आत्मनि च आत्मा भक्ताश्रुत गृहतया वदंती तत्व भगवान इति शब्दते भगवान इति शब्दते मुनय मुनय ज्ञान वैराग्य युक्तया पश्य आत्मनि च आत्मा पश्य आत्मनि च आत्मा भक्त्याश्रुत गृहतया भक्त्याश्रुत गृहतया हे कृष्ण रिसाइट प्रभुजी श्रीधर प्रभुजी रिसाइट हरे कृष्ण दंड प्रणाम माता जी ृष्ण माला सरकार माता जी प्लीज रिसेट
माताजी देर इज इको हरे कृष्ण शब्द यदुन मुनयु गैनु वैराग्यो युक्त पश्यो आत्मनि अद्वय हरे कृष्णा so almost everyone has read anyone pending word to word meaning vadanti they say tat that tatva vidah the learned souls tatvam the absolute truth yat which dnyanam knowledge advayam non dual brahma iti known as brahman parmatma iti known as parmatma bhagwan iti there's still please भगवान इति नोन एज भगवान शब्द ते इट्स सो साउंडेड तत दैट श्रद्धाना सीरियसली इंक्विजिटिव मुनय सेजेस ज्ञान नॉलेज वैराग्य डिटैचमेंट युक्तया वेल इक्विप्ड विद पश्यन्ति सी आत्मनि विद इन हिमसेल्फ च एंड आत्मानं द परमात्मा भक्त्या इन डिवोशनल सर्विस श्रुत द वेदास ग्रहितया वेल रिसीव्ड ट्रांसलेशन बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपट बाय द श्रीला प्रभुपाद जगतगुरु श्रीला प्रभुपाद की जय लॉन्ड ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट हु नो द एब्सोल्युट ट्रुथ कॉल दिस नॉन ड्यूअल सब्सटेंस ब्रह्मांड परमात्मा और भगवान द सीरियसली इंक्विजिटिव स्टूडेंट और से well it equipped with knowledge and detachment realizes that absolute truth by rendering devotional service in terms of what he has heard from the vedanta shruti parpat vedha shri la prabhu pad jagat guru shri la prabhu pad ki jay the absolute truth is both subject and object uh, and there is no qualitative difference there therefore brahman parmatma and bhagwan are qualitatively one and the same the same substance is realized as impersonal brahman by the student of the upanishads as localized parmatma by the hiranya garbha or the way yogis and the bhagwan uh, by the devotees in other words bhagwan or the personality of godhead is uh, the last word of the absolute truth parmatma is the partial representation of the personality of godhead and impersonal brahman is the glowing uh, effulgence of the personality of god as the sun rays are uh, to the sun god less intelligent students of either of the above schools sometimes are going in favor of their own respective realization but those who are perfect seer of the absolute truth know well that the above three features of the one absolute truth are different perspective views seen from different angles of vision 
as it is explained in the first shloka of the first chapter of the Bhagavatam, the supreme truth is self-sufficient, cognizant and free from the illusion of relativity. In the relative world, the knower is different from the known, but in the absolute truth, both the knower and the known are one and the same thing. In the relative world, the knower is the living spirit or superior energy, whereas the known is inert matter or inferior energy. Therefore, there is a duality of inferior and superior energy. Whereas in the absolute dream, both the knower and the known are of same superior energy. There are three kinds of energies of the supreme energetic. There is no difference between the energy and energetic, but there is a difference of quality of energy. The absolute dream and the living entities are of the same superior energy, but the material world is inferior energy. The living being in contact with the uh, inferior energy is illusion, uh, thinking he belongs to the inferior energy. Therefore, there is the sense of relativity in the material world. In the absolute, there is no such sense of difference between the knower and the known. And therefore, everything there is absolute. The absolute truth is realized in full of the process of devotional service uh, to the Lord, Vasudev, or the personality of uh, Godhead. Who is the full-fledged absolute truth? Brahman is the is his transcendental bodily effulgence, and Paramatma is his partial representatives. As such, Brahman or Paramatma realization of the absolute truth is but a partial realization. There are four different types of human beings: the karmis, the gyanis, the yogis, and the devotees. The karmis are materialistic, whereas the other three are transcendental. The first class transcendentalists are the devotees who have realized the supreme person. The second class transcendentalists are those who have partially realized the plenary portion of the absolute person. And the third class transcendentalists are those who have uh, barely realized the spiritual uh, focus of the absolute person as stated in the Bhagavad Gita. And other Vedic literature, the Supreme Person is realized by devotional service, which is back, backed up um, by full knowledge and detachment from material association. We have already discussed the point that devotional service is followed by knowledge and detachment from material association. As Brahman and Paramatma realization are imperfect realization of the absolute truth, so the means of realizing Brahman and Paramatma, that is the path of Gyan and uh, and yoga are also imperfect means of realizing the absolute truth. Devotional service, which is based on the poor uh, ground of full knowledge, combined with a detachment from material association and which is fixed by the oral reception of the Vedanta Shruti, is the only perfect method by which the seriously inquisitive student can realize the absolute truth. Devotional service is not therefore meant for the less intelligent class of transcendentalists. There are three classes of devotees, namely first, second, and third class. The third class devotees are the or the neophytes who have no knowledge and no and are not detached from material association, but who are simply attracted by pre preliminary process of worshipping the deity in the temple are called material devotees. Material devotees are more attached to material benefit than transcendental profit. Therefore, one has to take definite progress from the position of material devotional service uh, to second class devotional position. In the second class position, the devotee can see four principles in the devotional line, namely the personality of Godhead, his duty, the ignorant and his envious. Uh, one has to raise himself at least to the stage of a second-class devotee and thus become eligible to know the absolute truth. The third-class devotee, therefore, has to receive uh, the instructions of devotional service from the authoritative uh, sources of Bhagavat. Uh, the number uh, one Bhagavat is the established personality of devotee and uh, the other Bhagavatam is the message of Godhead. The third class duty, therefore, has to go to the personality of duty 
in order to learn the instructions of devotional service. Such a personality of devotee is not a professional man who earns his livelihood uh, by the business of Bhagavatam. Such a devotee must be represented to of Shukdev Goswami, like Sudh Goswami, and must preach the cult of devotional service for the all uh, around benefit of, of all people. A neophyte devotee has a uh, very little taste of hearing from the authority. Uh, such a neophyte devotee make a show of hearing from the professional man to satisfy his senses. Uh, this sort of hearing and chanting has spoiled the whole thing. So one should be very careful about the faulty process. The holy message of Godhead has inculcated, inculcated in the Bhagavad Gita or in the Srimad Bhagavatam are undoubtedly transcendental subjects. But even though they are so, uh, such transcendental matters are not to be received from the professional man who spoils them as the serpent spoils milk simply by uh, by the touch of the, his tongue. A sincere devotee must therefore be prepared to hear the Vedic literature like the Upanishad, Vedanta and other literature left by the previously authorities or Goswamis for the benefit of his progress. Without hearing such literature, one can not make actual progress. And without hearing uh, and following the instruction, the show of devotional service becomes worthless and therefore a sort of disturbance in the path of devotional service. Unless therefore devotional service is established on the principle of the Shruti, Shmruti, Purana or Pancharatra authorities, the make show of devotional service should at once be rejected and unauthorized devotee should never be recognized as a pure duty by assimilation of such messages from the Vedic literature. One can see the all pervading localized aspects of the personality of Godhead within his own self constantly. This is called Samadhi. Om Gyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalaka Chakshur Militam Ena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhitam Sapitam Ena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantika Vande Am Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavancha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Savana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Vishakan Vitancha Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauramani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashchata Deshatarine Vancha Kalpataru Becha Krupa Sindhu Be Evacha Patitanam Pavade Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namonama Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktarunda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna in this shloka they describe about how we take the uh, surrender and how we uh, do the our uh, bhakti uh, from whom we uh, hear that all describing Prabhuji will uh, tell you in detail Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna So it all starts with say uh, what is the objective of our life in the previous verse we were all studying this what actually is our objective of life and it is clearly mentioned there that kamasya na indriya prithi the purpose of life is not sense gratification 
but the sense purpose is self realization see even in brahma sutra it is clearly mentioned athato brahma jigyasa and same thing is explained in the shlok which is studied yesterday so it is very important for us for understanding the aim of life jivasya tatva jignyasa it is not for economic development for sense gratification but what is the value of life that is the main business so it is mentioned that we should be working towards understanding what is the objective of life i told remember even sanatan goswami ji very great chaitanya mahaprabhu he asks him this very question so he asks him you oh prabhu please tell me you what is the objective of life now see he has approached whom he has approached a guru yes. so what it means is that we need to approach a guru what is the necessity the necessity is tatva jignyasa for inquiring about absolute truth tat vidyanartham sa gurum eva eva abhigachet samet panihi shrotriyam brahmanishtam so this is what is mentioned in the vedas as well so we have to have the aim of tatva jignyasa तो सनातन गोस्वामी जी आज चैतन्य महाप्रभु के हमी के नाम आया जा रे तापत्रय माय डियर लॉर्ड काइंडली लेट मी नो हु एम आई एंड व्हाई एम आई पुट इन दिस थ्री फोल्ड मिजरी कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ नाउ एनीवन कैन से कि ओ यू आर अ मिनिस्टर यू शुड नो हु यू आर बट देन सनातन गोस्वामी जी रिस्पोंडेड नो एक्चुअली आई डू नॉट नो व्हाट आई एम लाइक इट इज मेंशन ग्राम्य व्यवहार कहा पंडित सत्य को रे मानी सब ने बरूड में दे कॉल मी आई एम वेरी बिग मैन आई एम वेरी लर्नड मैन द स्टडी माय सेल्फ व्हाट आई फाइंड इज आपना रहित किचु नहीं जानी आई डू नॉट नो व्हाट आई एम वेयर फ्रॉम आई हैव कम वेयर आई हैव टू गो आफ्टर लिविंग दिस बॉडी व्हाई आई एम पुट इनटू द ट्रिब्युलेशन ऑफ थ्री फोल्ड मिजरीज आई डू नॉट वांट टू डाई व्हाई दैट इज एनफोर्स्ड अपॉन मी I do not want to take birth. Why that is also enforced upon me? I do not want old age. Why it is enforced upon me? I do not want disease. Why it is enforced upon me? What is the purpose of my coming in this material world? Where I shall go after death? Or is this the end? So many things to inquire. This is called Tattvajit Nyasaha. जीवस्य तत्व सो भागवत रिकमेंड्स दैट इन द ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ द ओनली नेसेसिटी इज टू एनक्वायर एब्सोल्यूट व्हिच इज एक्सप्लेन्ड हियर वदंती तत् तत्व विदस तत्व यद ज्ञानम अद्वयम सो अद्वयम मींस विदाउट एनी डायलिटी सो व्हेन वी से ब्रह्मन or when we speak of parmatma or when we speak of bhagwan there is no difference between these three terms so propa ji gives the example of sunshine and sun glow and the sun god so all three seem to be different but they are one and the same thing so that is what even has been mentioned in bhagavad gita by krishna imam vivasvate yogam proktavan aham yogam so vivasvan is the current sun god Who is holding the sun planet? So, if we remain in sunshine, it does not mean that we are in the sun globe, or we have been predominant. We have seen vivasva. Similarly, Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagwani Ti Shabdete. We can realize the absolute truth in three features. So, Ropa Ji mentions in the. Purport that the absolute truth is realized from three angle of vision. But what we need to understand is that this can be realized only under the guidance of a guru, not a, with our own scholarship or understanding. Vedic knowledge, it's the or or what we call as the Brahma Sutra, Vedanta Sutra. It is clearly mentioned that the original cause of the absolute truth. is the living entity 
सो जस्ट लाइक कृष्ण सीज इन भगवद गीता हम सर्वस्य प्रभो मत सर्व प्रवर्तते सो कृष्ण इज एब्सोल्यूट एंड ही इज अ लिविंग एंटिटी नित्यो नित्यानाम चेतनस चेतनानाम सो दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ इज पर्सनल लिविंग इज सुप्रीम लिविंग एंटिटी Similarly, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Matha Paratram Nanyat Kinchit Asti Dhananjaya. So see, all these shlukas, when we try, it comes to the point that Krishna is the supreme personality. And the objective of our life has to be Tattva Chitnyasa. And how? Brahmiti Paramatma is it. So if we try to understand absolute truth, then we may reach up to the impersonal feature. We can only see the light, that effulgence of Krishna's body. But then that is with speculative knowledge. In that position, we will not understand what is Paramatma, who is situated in everyone's heart. Ishwarhas Sarvabhutanam Ridadeshi Arjuna it is mentioned that Paramatma feature is one fourth expansion of Krishna's personal existence. So Paramatma feature is very, very important. And Bhagwan is the ultimate absolute. And that is why Krishna says, Mattha Parataram Na Anyat. So we have to understand that all the scriptures is pointing to this one particular fact. One who understands Krishna, then he understands both the features, Paramatma feature as well as Brahman features. Therefore, in the Vedas, it is said, Yasmin Vidyate Sarvam Idam Vidyatam Bhavati. Now, one more example which Prabhupada generally gives is, if you look at a mountain, it looks like a big hill. When we approach nearer, we see that there are trees, greenish trees. Uh -huh. Then when we go more further, we see houses, animals, men. So Dalmi different Dalmi. angles, we see different aspects. That is exactly what we have to understand about Krishna, Paramatma, and Brahman. Another example can be you have got one lakh rupees. So that one lakh rupees also has thousand. It also has hundred. And that is why Krishna says, Janma karma chame divyam yoma vitti vetna. So this is very, very divya gyan which Krishna gives with his own intelligence. And this can be obtained only with bhakti. It's not that we start understanding Brahman and then we get to understand what is Bhakti. No. Prabhupada clearly explains that initially we have to go understand Brahman, improve and then we can go to the Bhakti level. So Bhakti level is the ultimate and most important level. And that is what is going to be explained in the next word. Bhaktiya Shruta Grihitaya. That we have to hear of Krishna in devotion, not as a non-devotee. We have to hear from the authorities who are munaya. Munaya means who are great saintly persons. Nana vairagya yuktaya. So these two things are very much required. First, we must have sufficient knowledge. And then vairagya, that is renunciation and detachment. Then we will be able to understand Bhagwan, what is Paramatma, and what is impersonal Brahman. So let us try to understand this and improve upon bhakti life. And the best way to do it, following the Sankirtan Yagya movement of the Kali Yuga, which is the Kali Yuga Dharma. Hare Krishna. Pancha Kalpata Rubhech Kripa Sindhu Bhaya Vacha Patitana Pani Bhavishnabhyo Namo